Man up, up with Tuck. Tuck. Man up. Praise the Lord, guys. Welcome to another edition of Man Up with Tuck. I pray that everybody's doing well and safe out there. What I'm going to talk to you about today is um, I'm not going to finish today. And, uh, and so I'm going to take my time to set it up. And I just pray that somebody would get delivered like I was. Um, it was 2019. Uh, it was about the end of summer. Summer was coming to the close. And Pastor was doing a series. And the series was on systems. And he talked about all these different systems, um, these systemic systems, all these evil systems. And he, he talked about how, you know, uh, some of these systems work for one group of people and they didn't for the other group. And just uh, he just broke it down. And it was um, it was an awesome, awesome teaching. But he said something that stuck with me. And I didn't know at the time how it was going to change the way I see things and the way I do things. He said that it's almost, it's hard and it's almost impossible to change a system, but you have to learn how to make the system work for you. And man, when he said that, you know, I was sitting in the front seat of the, of the, of the church and it just, uh, it just took me places, man. First of all, uh, you don't have to go any further to see a perfect example of what he was saying than this last election. You had the sitting president did everything he could to change the system, to change the process. And then you had his opponent was saying, you know what? We are gonna just let the system do what it does. We are gonna let it go through the process and and um, and we're gonna let that we're gonna let this stand like that. And today we got a new president because he let the system. He found out a way how to make the system work for him. You know, we we live in a world of systems. They're all around us. Um, I was talking to a brother and he quoted the scripture. He said that uh, we're in the world, but we're not of the world. But then he he added, so the things of the world don't affect us and. I didn't say anything to him, but I don't agree with that. I just don't agree with that. Because even in that same text, when Jesus said that, he also, he was praying for the disciples. And he also prayed to Father God. He said, um, um, I'm not asking you to take them out of the world, but I'm asking you to protect them from the evil one. And so if he's asking uh, the Father to protect us, from the evil that's in the world, then that must means that we can be affected by some of the things of the world, you know? And so uh, even God has a system. Um, if you want to be blessed in the kingdom, you have to give. I mean, the word says give and it will be given back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over. And it's not just about money, but it's in other things, forgiveness, anything. If you want to, to, to receive in the kingdom of God, you have to give. That's just the bottom line. And so, but it's so different because in the kingdom of God, you don't have to make it work for you because it's going to do what it's going to do. You know, I truly believe that you don't even have to be a follower of Christ. You don't even have to know Christ. But if you follow that, if you are given, if you have a given spirit and a given heart, then you are going to receive. If you pay your tithes and give your offering, the Bible says that he's going to open up the windows of heaven. These are things that he's going to do. But in the world system, you have to make the world system work for you. You know, even if we pay taxes, you know, uh, that the world is always trying to take, but it's not trying to give you anything. And so, uh, like I said, we pay our taxes. I've been fortunate enough to be able to to get ta uh, when I file my taxes to get some 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 uh, monies back at the end. But you got a lot of people that don't. They pay, pay taxes all year long, and then when they file, they have to pay taxes. And so, you know, the world is taking, taking, taking when God is giving, giving, giving. And so, uh, when we talk next time, I want to share with you how this um, this concept open up some things in my life, man. And it's helping me right now today. And he, and he did that series a year and a half, almost a year and a half ago. Talk about a prophetic word. But anyway, until next time, brothers, man up.